Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So you'll notice in the financial report we've got nine days to the end of the month. I went ahead and decided that uh, we needed to get all the mechs kind of into shape with what we have. So that's what I did. I spent almost a full month, uh, well, 30, what, 26 days or something to try and get the mechs into play here. So let's have a look at the mech bay. There's been some changes. So... Um, the dervish um what do we do okay so let's start off with the archer uh i added what did i add to this guy uh oh yeah the tactic support b that we picked up a little while ago i hadn't put that in anywhere put that in this guy that's all we did to him dervish now the dervish we um put tracker sensors in here to give bonus at um extreme range and long range to help with missiles on this guy because uh, we've been having a hard time hitting really well with this one. And I swapped out. We had um, a night vision uh, sensors in here. So we sw swapped it out with the advanced optics one we put in. So we get a ranged accu accuracy bonus every 210 meters up to four. So the farther away the mech is, the easier it's going to be to target. That's the same thing we have in the archer. I think that's why the archer is doing so well at long range and the dervish isn't. So that's been added. So I'm hoping with both those things added to the Dervish, uh, we end up getting a lot better chance to hit. Now, this mech has got more missiles than the Archer. So I decided to go with, like I said, um, the sensors tracker on this mech as opposed to the Archer just because, um, you know, to increase the chance to hit. Plus there's more missiles. So, and the, I mean, the Archer does have the uh, missile range and minus 50% minimum range, which helps out. Um, this one's got the clan uh, racks in it, so um, we don't have the, the short range. So I think that kind of works out. Uh, the Black Knight we'll come back to in a second. The Burkut stayed the same, and we got the Bushwhacker back. It's been repaired. Didn't do anything to this one. This one stayed the same. Centurion stayed the same. I'm going to go with the Men Shen first here and have a look at this guy. So I did a little bit of refitting on here. Now I pulled off, we had two ER mediums, one on each arm, and two medium pulses, one on each torso. So I pulled out one of each, added a Clan SRM-6 and the other MML-5 that we picked up. Uh, I changed the ammo loadout slightly. We added a fire control system Artemis, and I pulled out, what else did I pull out? I pulled out something to lower some weight. I can't remember what it was, but we ended up putting in um, SRM-6. Um, Artemis 4 ammo, uh, so all these racks can use the SRM4 Artemis, so in close this thing will be devastating. Uh, we have LRM dead fire for the risks, you know, if we're running out of this. Left the Inferno ammo, oh I know what it was, I pulled out the uh, SRM LK ammo. Uh, and we, we stayed with the same amount of LRM ammo. So we still, we've got an LRM 15 on this guy at range. And then when we get close, we're an SRM-21 boat, which is actually pretty good. Maintain the ER medium and the medium pulse and the tag barrage. Oh, and we took out the regular tag. I think it was a regular tag in here as well, which I pulled out. Uh, so yeah, I think overall, this is probably a pretty good update. Um, the Artemis system with the clustering, I think is really going to help out with these, uh, the racks or 21 SRM Artemis rounds. Um, we've got, what, six turns of continuous fire? Seven turns of continuous fire with these? Seven and a half turns, something like that. So that should be good, I think. Um, so I think this, hope, I'm hoping that that's an improvement for this mech, but we'll see. I had to, oh yeah, that's another thing too. I had to pull up the jump jets to make this work. So the jump jets came off. So we're, we're ground mobility on this guy. Plus we still have the two bolt-on rockets if we need them. So that's there for firepower. So that's the Men Shen. Um... Let's go to the Mortis next. So I did go, this one took the longest to do because I pulled off the snub nose goss off this guy. Um, so I had to go and pull all of the components out, like all like the uh, pirate ER medium and all the melee components and put them in one back, back in one at a time. So this one in first, the ER medium. Then we put the retractable blade in uh, for the base melee damage and percentage melee damage. And then these two went in right afterwards. So the battle fist and this. So our melee damage isn't too bad where is our melee damage close range is it here melee damage 104 so not bad i think we have, were at 96 or something before somewhere around there it, it's gone up anyway so that's good now uh because i pulled out the heavy the snub nose goss and we didn't really have much room for anything else in here um i decided to go with atm nines now the problem with this mech was that 
it had nothing to fire at the enemy like we saw with the last mission it didn't do anything right it just took taking forever to get close to the enemy so with the pirate atm nines i put the turret mount in this in this shoulder too the pirate atm nines hopefully we'll be able to fire off at long range with uh, lrm lk ammo uh, i've also got swarm as well until we get close and then we got srm uh, lk ammo which we can use as well when we get really close um, now these things will jam and they could you know if they take damage they could explode so we need to be careful of that um, it's got a recoil of two as well so I mean we'll just have to see how it goes now we've got the fire control system missile in here um, to increase chances with missile and reduces the minimum range and all that stuff so this hopefully will help out a little bit um, we'll see how it goes I'd also put in three um, uh, heavy jump jets so we can get a bit of jump going uh, and case two just in case we get hit in the torso here I put that in so we've got stealth armor as well which um, should really really help out I think keeping this guy hidden until he gets close um, uh, exchanger for heat reduction so we're doing pretty good here 63 68 I mean we're not gonna be firing everything uh, anyway when once we melee we don't have to worry about it anymore so that's kind of this guy oh yes also too the ultra 10 clan that we've got sitting here I managed to find three tons of ammo for it in the store when we jumped so that's an option coming up too that might end up going on to the um, Centurion, uh, but I didn't do that because we just didn't have the time the sea bills right now to be able to do that So the Centurion's next for the upgrade this mech really is like Not that great right now. I think the ultra 10 on here is better. It's gonna be better than the rotary 5 um, But this is the next one to, we need to work on it's really like kind of the out of the eight that we've got in in play This is like the one that's like the last on my list to work on um, Simply because it's really not that great of a mech uh, the Black Knight, this guy is a tank. This thing is going to murder people. So uh, we had to put Industrial TSM in in order to, to be able to hold on to the combat shield here because it's so weighty. So that kind of limited some things in the build. The biggest core we have is a 275, so we dropped that. We're not going to be very fast. Movement is pretty darn slow. Uh, it's a 3-5 move, so we're pretty slow. Once we get a bigger core, we'll work on getting that into the game. Um, double heatsink kit. Uh, so we've got the snub nose goss in the, in the arm backed up by the weapon mount and the upper recoil which is going to give us bonus to hit for both of these so this is plus two accuracy this is plus three accuracy minus one minus two minus three recoil and the pilot's going to have minus one so minus four recoil so we don't have to worry about the recoil and snub nose fire control system goss for another plus three accuracy one gunnery on the range finder that we have here sensor sniper and then the backup systems, we've got a pair of medium X pulses. Now I thought about putting the large VSPL laser in here, but then the heat just becomes so unmanageable. It was just, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't manage the heat on this thing. There was just no way to do it. Um, so I thought the, the, the good um, sort of trade-off was a pair of medium X pulses, both do 45 damage and have better accuracy for far less heat, like the other one's 90 heat so this is a you know 40 heat in total so this was the better way to go uh, we got a pair of uh, medium laser exostars which are plus one accuracy here as well uh, just for backup and an MRM 10 with some acid and incendiary ammo now we've only got 10 turns of firing with the heavy gauze so we'll have to be very selective on when we're using it but it should be excruciatingly act like accurate so when it's used it should be devastating um, and then like let's say we run out of ammo in a battle for whatever reason the four lasers plus the MRM 10 which will have a ton of ammo uh, there's 200 shots in each of these so that's like 40 turns of firing with this thing should really help out the Lance especially with the acid ammo and the incendiary ammo plus two heat damage with the incendiaries so yeah I, I'm kind of okay with this we actually have one extra heat sink in here which we can pull if we don't need it uh, the two exostars can go. We've got a pair of tags because I didn't I had to start filling up space, right? I want to get more goss ammo if we get that fantastic I'll pull out some of the tags, but you know, we got these in there You know, it is what it is and it's pretty much max armor the backs down a little bit But everything else is maxed out. So this guy should be a juggernaut when it's in the game So we're gonna uh, get a chance to use this guy today. Okay, so Let's go ahead Now that that's done and go to the command center. So we've jumped to New Roland, which is in Capellan space, and they presented us with some priority missions as well that we could take. 
Um, I want to take this one. It's 18 days away. We're not going to do that today because we need sea bills first. Uh, so we're going to take a few missions on this planet, and then we'll go ahead and take that. Now, um, a show of force, I think, this escort mission, um, it's against the pirates, but I think we want to go ahead and do this for the salvage and the sea bills at two and a half skulls. So I think this should be a good roll for us. Um, and then maybe steal the prototype we could do Africa after that, Oregon Coalition. That's another possibility just to capture base, but it's a good sea bill payout. Uh, training day, not really wanting to go ahead with one of those. Untouchable is a target acquisition, which could be very tricky, but we might do it. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. the salvage is nice, but I don't think we'll ever get that much salvage out of it. So I don't know if we'll do that one or not. But definitely want to do these two down here. So we're going to do show of force today. Full salvage. We're going to lose some rep with the pirates, but there's not much we can do about that. We can always gain that back later. Uh, okay, so uh, we're going to bring the main lance. So let's bring Hopper up here. And we're going to bring the Dervish, which I'm hoping is far more accurate. Black Knight and the Lamb Mech. So um, hopefully Hotshot is uh, going to enjoy the Black Knight. Uh, Arachne, where are you? Hotshot and Queen Bee. All right, let's do this. All right, did we just drop on? We just dropped on where we need to liberate. They just sure, why not just drop us right on top of the enemy? Are we right on top of the enemy? Where? What? Um, we're right on top of the enemy. Hollander. Anubis, man, these guys are in serious shit trouble. No, they're not. Because uh, they got massive evasion. Uh, it certainly, you know, having that random drop certainly makes things interesting. Uh, but sometimes, like, they should never have you drop right on a zone like this. But whatever. We're going to activate the convoy, looks like, no matter what we do. Well, I mean, we might be able to move out of the hex. But you know what I say? I say, fuck it. Let's just activate the convoy. And go after, like, there'll be a second lance coming, right? So that should be fun, I think. That'll be uh, nice and tricky. Now, that was the Hollander that moved? It was. Uh, all right, Queenie. Commander. Can you... You can't hide from the Irby, though. But that's fine. We're going to jump here. That's the Anubis. Okay, we're not going to use... Ooh, the Barrage, though. Oh, right. We had to pull the tag off this thing. That's right. I can leave the Barrage off. Uh, because this guy's awfully close. Rocket. He's got two rocket packs and a handheld rack, too. That's it, eh? That's a pretty weak loadout. All right. Not sure how I feel about the tag missing now, but that warfare suite. I'm really hoping that that's uh, going to help us out here. Did that guy not move? The Urban Mac didn't do anything. Oh, he hasn't gone yet. Well, why doesn't he have any evasion? What? Am I just confused? Maybe I'm just confused. I think more, most likely I'm just confused. Yeah, good luck with that. They thought they knew where we were coming from. Dumb ways to die, facing a black knight with a snub-nosed goss. 
Yeah, see, he's... He's got evasion pips. It's just not showing up. Uh, do I want to waste ammo on him? I think I do. Now nah, we missed. Ah, well. Commander. Okay, let's get over here. Now, we can engage this guy directly. We do have Artemis, right? That's only 64. Let's just go standard. Zero from 50. I've got your back. Do ya? Get my front too, buddy. Copy that. Now that's terrible. Let's just go after this guy. We're gonna go standard. I don't want to waste my good stuff on this guy. Damn you for making me do this. Punch right through his armor. Yeah, baby. Is this our guy's going? Yeah, allies. Fourteen. You know, strangely enough, I'm kind of up in the air about the allies. Sometimes I like having them so that they've got the enemy have got somebody to shoot at, because you never know how many enemy lances you're going to have. And then other times I don't like it because they get they do splash damage to you, or they shoot you in the back. You know, it's really a toss up. I don't know. Oh, nice hits, man! Nice hits. See what I mean? Like sometimes they help, and sometimes they're just there to cause trouble. If you know what I'm saying. 12. Who goes on 12? Uh-huh. Oh, you guys left arm, eh? MMO5 is gone. Oh, well. Could have used that. I'd rather replace the, uh, the Clan SRM6 with the MMO5 in the Men Shen, but it is what it is. Turning your back to a black knight with a snub nose goss. Alright, here we go. Let's <laughs> just friggin' do this. Alright, we're gonna have to send Queen Bee over there to, to scout out to see if we got any more enemies coming. Okay, the fire starter goes on 21. Doesn't look like they've got any extra, but that doesn't necessarily mean they don't have. I think we're going to be okay here. Yes, Commander. Well, that Anubis has decided to leave his back facing us, so... Don't want to be evil. What do we got on this guy? 51 is not bad. 32. Yeah, you know, I think our chances to hit have gone up slightly. This guy is more dangerous, I think, than the fire starter, so let's just shoot him. See ya. Want to stay with your back to the battle? That's up to you, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, show you any mercy. Uh oh. These Hollanders are kind of weird mechs. Kind of weird mechs. Ready to get it on. I should murder that urban mech in the back. <laughs> Move order received. Let's stay cool. Actually, we'll leave those on. Turn these three off. Got the drop on you, pal. 
Oh. <laughs> See ya. Hostile eliminated. <laughs> Ow. Well, I think we're going to need to go some higher skull planets now. How can I help? We're at, we're at two and a half world right now. So it's not that tough. All right, let's see if we can clean this guy up. Get him out of our way here. Um, let's throw this on. Do this for some clustering and hammer him. Roger. That was a critical. Yeah, you bet that was. Zero from 50 hit by MS. Damn, son. Come on, one of you guys kill this guy so I don't have to do it. What do we got? Yeah, make sure you back up. Standing That's by. really helping us out. Moving out. This thing is so clumsy when it walks. Alright. Flames on! Firing at enemy Enjoy the heat, buddy. Enjoy the heat. There's a kill for the sleep near. At least our allies have got speed this time. That last escort mission, those carriers move really slow. Keep hitting them, guys. There you go. That's how it's done. All right, Hoop Snake, let's go. I'm moving. Uh, let's scout this out. We said we were going to scout it. Uh, yeah, that's right. Never mind. Once again, I'm getting confused between Arachne and uh, Queen Bee. We'll go. Jump up over here because you're the shit. There we go. Doesn't look like we got another lance here. So I'm interested to see at two and a half skulls what they've got coming up at the end here. Because we're sure as hell ain't going to get there. Moving out. The dervish will. I uh, just sit here for now. Well, at least our escorts are moving up. All right. Let's go, Hapa. Uh, I don't know which way to go. Let's just keep going along this way. Copy that. Roger that. Checking out up ahead. There we go. Yeah. Good work, Commander. Hold this position until the package is under. Enemy contacts, where are they? There's our drop ship. Usually there's down they're down here and around here. Oh they're back here. Babcatha. Gorgon something or other. All right, well, Commander. hardcore, you know the score. Affirmative. All right. 
hunchback, eh? A hunchback, eh? Bulldog. That guy is probably the target we want. And a Gorgon. There we go. That's the uh, Artemis mech, isn't it? Alright Hopper, time to engage. I think it's gotta be this guy. Yeah, I think so. Confirm. Commander. They've decided to challenge your snub nose. Look at the size of that goss on the arm. Isn't that? Let's just look at it. That's the snub nose. So nice. All right, let's show these guys the what for here. They're at extreme range, so don't expect a hit, but that's fine. Oh! That looked like a leg hit to me. Sure was. Almost straight through the leg. We're going to bring B back to escort the rest of the vehicles out. She doesn't need to be involved with this. It's just going to be a slugfest over here. Although, once the vehicles are out, I think I want to try and get some parts of that Babcatha. We can get that. That would be a good replacement for the Archer, I think. Yeah, thanks for being here. Enemy turn, the enemy turn. What are you doing? Here they come, those missiles. No, nope. I guess he's getting his stability back. Awaiting orders. If I had to guess, that's what I would, I would say he's doing. Okay, we got what two guys here and two guys here, right? So let's kind of go in the middle, ish. Lifting off. These guys should head out now, these two prowlers. Okay, LVT-6. Alright. We'll take the 12 points. Yeah. Let's go, you guys. Get the hell out of here. Okay, two out. Maybe like a two more turns, I think, before those guys are out. Probably. Yeah, man, the AI for our uh, allies now is so good. I mean, not necessarily in terms of their targeting and all that stuff, but they definitely engage with the enemy a heck of a lot more, you know? Unless, you know, it's a Centurion, then it, does, then it just kind of doesn't want to fight. Uh, yeah. Firing on target. Okay, dude's a little drunk now. Taking lots of hits. Is that the bad cathode that fired at me? Yeah, it was.
we're just going to push straight in with the uh, Black Knight. Hopefully we get good chances to hit. I'm going to target a leg and blow the leg off that archer. If not, if we, if we don't have great chances, I'm just going to go after the uh, the um, hunchback and see if we can blast it. Because, I mean, it would be nice to have this guy because of all these hard points. Two missile, energy, and ballistic. Gives you lots of options. Aye, aye. We'll go. You know the game. Just hang out here until these guys are gone. You can be in the battle in one turn anyway, so it's not so bad. It's going to push. Yeah, he's trying. How can I help? Um Let's walk it over here. Pretty good chances to hit on this guy. Even better on this guy. Uh, let's just go to standard. I want to save my uh, arrows for the archer so we can target legs and stuff. So let's just shred this guy. Take that as a lesson. Okay, he's lost evasive. So he's pretty much done for now. Black Knight's going to be after his ass right after this. Here it comes. Got something you want done? Oh, you know what needs to be done. I copy. Question is, are you the guy to do it? Are you the guy to do it? Oh, I would say so. Yeah, the heat's pretty good on this mech. I mean, just dropping this down keeps our mobility up, you know? Let's go with acid on this guy. Not that it matters. Actually, it does. I think we can do it this way. Oh. See ya. One more for the kill board. I mean, I guess the balance with this thing is it's only got 10 rounds of firing. With that goss. That's scary as hell, man. Hopefully we don't lose that in any battle. Of course, now that I said that, I've just jinxed it. But we still have the Ultra 10. But that's got to go in the uh, Centurion. That's definitely going to increase the uh, output from that guy. We've got three tons of ammo for it too, which is like 24 shots. So 12 turns of double, double turn firing. We've got the recoil um, cockpit or fire control system that is. So that'll help. And I think um, Focus has got minus one recoil with his uh all right let's get into here with his um gunnery i think i think he's gunnery six or maybe he's only five don't know how much armor does this guy have uh let's save save the artemis for the uh archer Oh yeah, man. That's going to hurt. Sure is. Loving the camera angles. Loving the camera angles. Well, we go before him, so we should be able to finish him up. If we can get Hopper slight bit closer, we should be able to pull the leg from one of, from that archer, I think. Why are you backing up? Engage! Engage, I tell you! Good to go. Good to go. On the move. Full speed. Alright, now how are we doing for range here? 
Oh, uh, they got ECMs like crazy. It's probably... Wait, what's killing our target on this guy? Sprinted. Minus two accuracy because of our heat level. Uh, I don't know. It's got to be ECMs on something on this guy. Because this guy's like no problem. All right, let's kill some heat. And uh, yeah. See ya. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. You got that right. So he's taking significant leg damage. If I can focus fire that leg this turn. I'm really hoping that he turns so that I can get a side shot on him. Yes, Commander. Uh, let's just reserve you. Because I think they'll go out this round and then you can jump into combat. I want to get your flamers on that uh, archer. Oh, you got the uh, Goss. That thing's deadly at close range, man. My AMS ain't hitting shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes! That puts him in side shot range, which means we can pull that leg. Pull him apart like a chicken. Or like a, what is it called? A wishbone. We'll wishbone him. I'll take one leg and the, uh, and Hotshot can take the other leg. Yep, just back it up. I laugh when those I laugh when those VTOLs go backwards. I mean, I know you can fly your helicopter backwards. I've got your back. If you know what you're doing. And I watched my uh, pilot instructor fly a uh, plane almost sideways into the wind. It was brilliant to land it. It was just I was like, "What, dude?" It was such a big crosswind, and he just lands the thing. It was like flying sideways. All right, let's go after this guy's leg. Oh yeah. Ah shit. Battle neck down. We took his leg. I guess it blew into the torso. Ah. Awaiting fuck. orders. Uh, are they all out? They're not out. Just wait there. Just stay there. That'll keep my heat down. Yeah, we've only got one vehicle left. And it's taking a gosh next turn, so. Yeah, come up to the gosh. Thermobaric explosion. There you go. See ya. It's bizarre that they go, they can go into the extraction circle and fire and yet if we're being extracted we go into the extraction circle then we can't do anything we should be at least able to shoot before they pick us up but whatever can't argue about it talk to me i'm in a can but there's no reason to you know what i'm saying all right roger that Aye, aye. -na 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 -na. Oh, we missed with the goss, dude. Only acid one, huh? Meh. I was too overconfident. That's what it was. I was all like, "Oh yeah, he should be able to kill him." Commander. Should be. Should have, woulda, coulda. Probably the best range to shoot at. All right, here it comes. Gorgon's got a lot of armor. Give him that. 
Got Queen Bee coming in though. Bacayaro, Comariaro. Killer B, you fool, you fool. Yes, Commander. Don't know if anybody's watched Naruto, but it's Killer B. Alright, what are you doing? Do we have guys that are going? Yeah, 16. Yeah, just back it up. Might as well shoot up my back. What the hell? What's he doing? Oh, we've got 11 here. Who is it? Oh, uh, this guy. They're retreating. I guess they're like, ah, oh, we don't need to be here anymore. We're done. Did our job. Did our job. We'll just go home now. We generally don't go home until the battle's done. So you'll just have to deal with that. There we go. Copy that. Yep, a lot of armor. Reporting critical hits. No LRMs remaining. Yeah, you got plenty of LRMs. I made sure of that. Some of those earlier battles, remember those? I was always terrified of running out of ammo. There you go. <laughs> Alright, let's go home. Mission successful. Alright, contract payment increased by 75%. That's nice. We didn't take anywhere near that in damages, so we're good to go. Guess I should start checking my pilots for skills too. Haven't done that in a while. Uh, gonna grab that part. I know there's only one, but I'm gonna grab it. Um... Three parts of an Anubis, eh? I don't think we have any other Anubis variation parts. That's a possibility. Flamer Hotshot. A little less damage. Accuracy and evasion ignore. Um, what's the difference between this and the regular Flamer? One evasion pips ignored. 20% damage against overheating targets. Heat damage stability falls off over 30% of starting value at long range. And this one is plus one accuracy. It's the same for more heat, less damage, and better accuracy. I don't know. I don't think we need these. I think we're doing okay with the ones we have. 180. What's the range for these guys? 180. It's the same. Oh, these are less heat for better accuracy, but less damage. I'm going to drop there just in case there's nothing else. Mag shots, uh, I don't know. I think we should probably drop those in as well. MML5, there's that. Oh, yes. Okay. Where would this go, though? It's an option for the Centurion as the main weapon, it, having an MRM. But we don't have any MRM am I'm going to drop this into, and we don't have any MRM ammo. Tags we don't need. Artemis, that's kind of nice. Um, but I think, yeah, we've got one of these. Long range and extreme range, plus two, plus two. Missile. Um, XL engine, we could take that for sea bills, which we really need right now. Um, what else do we have down here? Omnipod stuff. We need AMS ammo real bad. Double load of MRM. Um, okay, let's drop this out. Let's drop this out. Let's go down to the bottom and grab the double load MRM Apollo. Plus three cluster chance. Cars and Artemis TTS. To, oh, that's no problem. Let's take that instead. Half ton of Apollo as well. Um, that's definitely a possibility for an MRM build. 
Like we could put that on the um, Centurion maybe instead of the Ultra. Let me think. I, I'm going to put that in there too. That's a hundred. That's a hundred rounds, right? This one. Yeah, and that's four. So that's five hundred rounds for a thirty. So that's sixteen turns in a bit. AMS ammo would be nice, but I don't have a s place for it right now. Fire control system flamer. Yeah. Maybe we just take the pair of MRM tens as well. Let's go that route for now. Because we do have one more MRM ten. Jesus, if we could, you know. The Apollo, or not the Apollo, the Dervish. We could switch to an MRM build. I mean, it's only direct fire, though. That's the problem, right? Let me think about it. But I think this is a nice compromise, having all these uh, MRMs. It's one of the things we've been missing. This MRM-30 is pretty nice. I know it's minus one accuracy, but it's offsetted by the missiles. And if we use, um, if we use an Artemis system we'll have really good clustering on these. So yeah, I think I'll go this route. All right, we've got the Anubis part, Firestarter part, Hunchback part, Bolt-on AMS, that's not bad. Light PPC, yeah, I'm still, you know, three tons for 25 damage. It's got good range, but I'm still up in the air with this weapon. I don't know. I think it's the weight versus damage. It's also got a minimum range. Good chance to hit, but I don't know. we I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang on to it. I'm not going to say no to it. we got four of them already, though. Do we really need another one? Probably not. Let's just sell it. Seventy-five thousand. It's worth a good amount. Uh, SRM two streak. We're not going to need that. Oh, we got a couple of these. This is nice. Although we already have this one. That's going to be what two hundred and sixty thousand if we sell it. Let's go. We've already got one of those. Yeah, two sixty-seven. Let's go ahead and sell that. Uh, the two hundred we've already got, right? No. 240, we've got none. Let's just hang on to those. We've got the XL, beautiful. Let's go ahead and sell that. 325,000. Fire control system flamer we'll hang on to. Fair fibrous. We've got two. Let's go ahead and sell it. 32,000. Sell that. Hang on to the Omnipod lower arm. Do we need it? Plus one with arm matter weapons for Omnimax. So maybe we hang on to it for now. An SRM half load. We've got one. We can sell that. All right, 780. Okay, so that's good. I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. We made some good sea bills. We got our we got our funds for the end of the month. All right, 28,000 in damages. Not too bad. Now we do have a second lance, which we're going to take out right away, but not in this episode. We'll wait, and next episode we'll take our second lance out. See how they do. Um, uh, 1.7 million. Beautiful. Um, we should have enough to be able to take that uh, mission for the Capellans against St. Ive Compact. It's a four, There's, I think it's like four missions to take over our planet and two and a half skulls or three, is it two and a half or three and a half? I think it's two and a half, isn't it? Yeah, two and a half for post, right? Four missions. Uh, we've got two lances, so we're, we can make them both operate in the skull range, which I think is fine. So this contract could be very lucrative. Two eight eight hundred three. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. We're gonna capture this base next episode, though. All right, guys. I'm gonna end this episode here. We did pick up some good stuff today, which is awesome. Got to figure out how to work that into the rotation. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please please subscribe, and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.